Hi everybody and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be a 2.5 square bill. I'm going to be using a pearlized green, pearlized yellow, and gloss black. Uh, we will scale this thing. We will make the head on it black. Uh, you know what, there ain't nothing else to do but just get into it and let's get her done. So our first color we're going to be going with is going to be the yellow, the pearlized yellow. And we're going to paint that whole bait with the pearlized yellow. And that will be our first coats. This is going to be a little bit different bait than, than we've done before. So let's get her, let's get her painted and get her heat set and then we'll get on to the next one. Let's get our second coat of our yellow on. We'll let it set and dry a minute and go on to our next coat. I think two coats is going to be all we're going to need on that folks. I think it's going to cover just fine and be good. I had already primed this bait so it already has five layers of metallic white. It just saves us time when we do that. So folks, uh, we got finished remodeling on the shop. Uh, it's much better in here now. We insulated and put up sheeting on the walls and on the ceilings and uh, it really stays a whole lot cooler in here now. Now I discovered something while we were doing all that. Uh, I've been married 26 years, October the 8th. It'll be 26 years. I got in an argument with my wife, which that ain't nothing new, odd, or unusual. And uh, she told me if I didn't stop, she's going to snatch me bald headed, and I'll be damned if she almost didn't get it done before I got away, folks. So uh, remember, don't argue with your wife if you got hair, because she'll snatch you bald headed. Folks, this uh, bait is going to be similar to our citrus shad, uh, but it will have uh, some different characteristics with it. Uh, like the throat is not going to be orange, the throat is actually going to be red on this one. Uh, the scale pattern we're going to put on it, I'm going to do in black instead of the yellow with the green. So it, it, it's going to be different, but it's kind of the same basis as our citrus shad, but uh, you get to name this one, folks. Let me know in the comments what you want to call this lure when we get it all finished. So uh, let's move on to our next color. So we'll get our little cup over here, get our little black. Be sure you always shake your paints good, folks. Uh, I will give you all some more words of wisdom next video. So uh, be sure to stay tuned. And remember folks to like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell up there. It looks like we're going to be having videos coming out maybe twice a week. So yeah, we got that black all mixed up. I got it all over my hands. I don't care. Got the barbecue pit going outside. If you see me looking out there, that's what I'm doing is checking the fire. See how it's doing. My wife said she was going to divorce me if I didn't cook something for her today. I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, I got too enthralled in other projects. So let's get our black stuck on this bait. And we're just going to run that black right barely down that side. Just right on the top there. You see that? Aim on this other side. And then I'm going to do this head on this one black. I want that head black. Just like that. And just come right off of that. We'll heat set it. We'll throw another coat on it here in just a second. So, 
folks, that's looking pretty nice. Dry that up right quick and let's uh, just run some more down. Let's get that pretty dark. I'm just going to drop that right down in the side there. Drop it right down the side. Always hit that nose. And hit this gill plate with the second coat. There we go, folks. What y'all think about that? So I think I need to drop this side over here just a hair more. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Oh yeah. We in like Flynn now, folks. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So that's all for the black paint, which is going to be the pearlized green. Folks, uh, this is what I'm using to clean my brush with now. It actually works just as well as the high dollar stuff. So, and that's what we're doing. <coughs> and you can remember, folks, that this pearlized paint you do not have to reduce it and that's what's nice about it so what we're going to do now is we're going to get this dried really really good before we put the netting on it so that's what we're going to do now let's get it dried good and we'll be back in a minute and we'll continue okay folks we got our scale material on here now it's good and dry so now we're going to go back over it with some pearl lime top again right back down this other side call that good okay so we got our heat set let's pull our scale material off and little things get hot and uh, see what we got here Be there folks that looks nice which is we're gonna put fins on this one we'll put a fin I, I cut out a stencil while ago I'll show you what it is not gonna take much black paint we need more and I know where to get more so here we go let's put a let's put a fin up on this dude okay say I just got me a piece of cardboard and I just cut me one out and we'll lay it right up there on it just like that and just spray a little fin on there see there and we're not done yet there's still a couple of more bits to add to it Okay, another fin, other side. Let's go ahead and get our black back going. Right down here on our nose. Back on to this other side with a little more black. Looking good. What do you think about that, folks? It's looking good. Let's 
mix this up a little bit. This is going to be a bright red. Don't need much. We got our black on, we got all that done, we'll go back to our stencil. Lay that stencil up there. I guess we should pour us up a little bit of red paint. Ain't gonna take much. Okay. Go back and lay our stencil on there, and we just wanna spray the tip of that red. Just to get a little bit of red color in there. You can, actually... can you see that little bit of red, folks? It'll really stand out when we epoxy the lure. So, wipe our stencil off. Jump over here, put it right back on. Just a little bit of red on the tip. Cool. That's done. Now let's get our red underneath this throat of this fish. We don't want a whole lot under there. Just a little. Just a little bit more. There we go, folks. This is our new design lure. Uh, I'm going to let y'all name it. I've already had one person say we're going to call it the Green Goblin. But, you know what? It's up to y'all. It's not up to me. So, y'all tell me what you'd like to call it. So, uh, let's get her dried up a good. Put some eyes on it. Epoxy it. See what we got. How y'all feel about that? So folks, don't forget about our challenges. Uh, leave in the comment sections what color you'd like to see me paint and come up with something with them colors. Uh, I'd be happy to do it. I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun to get out here and just think, oh my God, what am I going to do with pink, purple, and Key West blue? I mean, that's just... Uh, makes you have to think and it makes you have to create with your mind and uh, that's kind of the fun part about this whole deal is you know what can I create with my head never know what what will come up uh, we've already done five different challenges that will be up on the <coughs> YouTube video okay folks we're back and got it all dried up and we're gonna lay some eyes in here today i selected a black and a silver eye for this lure so let's get them laid in there There's our eyes, folks, all laid in there. So. Yo. The old green goblin lure is up and running. Look at that. So we're going to open brand new epoxy today. We're going to do an experiment to see exactly how many lures we get done with two 4.25 ounces bottles of epoxy. So the count starts today. Folks, I'm gonna guess around 75. That's what I'm gonna guess. 
I don't know what the boss lady is going to say. About 75 is my guess. I guess that all depends on the size of the lure. Yeah. I cut my epoxy lids at a little bit of an angle. Uh, you can cut them off straight. You can do whatever you want. That's just the way I do it. And uh, nobody in this world says everything that I do is correct. So This is a 2.5 square bill, folks. So we're going to do 1.5 cc's of each. They're actually epoxy and then the hardener. So let's get in our drawer here and see if we can find us a syringe. Look at that. I found one. Open that up. Get it started. Well, what color of glitter do y'all want on this one? Somebody needs to tell me something. Then y'all want me on. So the boss is sitting over there saying she wants to put disco glitter on it. No. no. Yellow neon. Yellow neon. Well, it looks like it's going to be yellow neon on this one. had hid my glitter from me. Neon yellow right there. Yeah. Then when she told me she, you're too damn old to play with glitter. Kind of hurt my feelings folks that she would say that to me but you know what she said worse. I have witnesses. So you mix this really, really well. There we go. Well, since we might have a name for this lure already, Let's epoxy it and see what we come up with. All right, let me move some of this around and get some drip hook down here and have everything ready to go. That looks pretty good to me. Pull it off. Move the stand. And let's just see what we get. Folks, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. I'd fish it. Of course, I'd fish anything. It's all about the sound. In my world. So. I kind of like that bait, folks. What do y'all think? Now see, folks, when I do that, I'm pulling excess off of it. Is all I'm doing. Going back over it and brushing it again. Making sure all of my bases are covered. Back over. Make sure you get some on that tail. 
There you are, folks. Green Goblin. I fish it. Very nice. What do you folks think? Uh, remember folks to love thy neighbor but don't get caught you know you know how all that goes uh, no seriously I'm just joking around uh, if you want to purchase any of these go to WW or no WW my bad go to ugly dot lure ugly dog lures dot com and uh, you can purchase anything that you see me paint uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. Folks, help me build this into a, a fun time for everybody. Uh, I'm working on some new projects for kids. And I'll let you know more about it when I get closer to it. And uh, folks, remember, if you have elderly neighbors, please check on them during these times right now. Make sure they're okay and they don't need anything. And uh, I'll catch you later. Okay, folks, it's the next day. We pulled this Goblin series, a new series, a new design by me, off the rack this morning. Got hooks on it. It's a 2.5 square bill. It's got number four hooks and number five rings. Uh, folks, this is a really intriguing bait. It was real, real fun to paint for y'all. Uh, let me let me give you, show you what it, what we got here. It was really, really fun to paint. Uh, I will be doing a special lure for Thanksgiving. I'm going to paint a turkey on a lure. So I've been designing this out in my head for a couple of days now. But uh, that's what we come up with. And this is our Goblin series. And I can do this bait or this paint in any bait you want. Uh, don't matter to me. I just, I don't know why I picked a 2.5 square bill, probably because it's over here in this tray, and I didn't want to walk over there to the lure drawers, if you don't know the truth. That's probably not a bit of drinking involved, you know. But, uh, it's been so much fun doing this with you folks. Uh, I hope you remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel, and hit that notification bell. We'll be having two videos a week coming out. One on Monday at 6 and one on Thursday at 6. Our challenge series will be on Thursdays at 6. So remember folks to send me the paint colors you want to see me figure out how to combine and put on a lure. And remember to have a great week and I'll catch you later.